Hello, I'm Tyler coming at you from SportRx. I'm here with my buddy, buddy. Ryan, the in-house Costa brand ambassador at SportRx. It's a good thing we have him here because he knows everything there is to know about Costa, especially these new styles that are being rolled out this season, the fall holiday season. The fall holiday. What are we talking about specifically? Which model? So we got the pilot house in front of us, Tyler. It's cool. Yeah. I like that. It's Dude. a good looking frame. Yeah. Okay, so uh, tell me about the features that are okay. unique to this style. Okay, so let's go over the material first. Made of a titanium material. They got some air cushion self-adjusting nose pads. They got some over-injected temple tips, again, just to help with grip and the comfortability. And then we got some internal spring hinges on this thing. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's kind of do an overview of those. Yeah. Uh, the titanium lens material, if you know anything about frame manufacturing, is definitely the uh, kind of upper echelon in terms of quality of frame material it's because it's super lightweight, but also extremely durable. Um, it's beyond that really good at maintaining its shape. It's, it stays solid all day long and uh, things to note especially for the Costa enthusiast, mm -hmm. uh, outside of being durable, which is obviously important, but non-corrosive. Exactly. So salty air, salty water, these things are gonna outlive a lot of other frames. Yes. For sure. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, injection molded temples I really like because instead of it being like an average temple tip that's just kind of jammed on there, it's made for the frame specifically. That means when it overheats, when you sweat, it's gonna stay on there. It's not gonna mm -hmm. slide off. Uh, and you have these little, little uh, grippies that I noticed. Yeah. And you said these are hydrophilic. Yep, so the right? more you sweat, the stickier it gets. That's really nice. <laughs> uh, so instead of it being like an average rubber material that as you sweat, it just slides more, it's gonna grip better. Mm -hmm. uh, and then let's talk about these nose pads. So it's like a little pillow. On your nose, it's super comfortable, really low profile, lightweight, but still silicone, so it's gonna grip really well. So self-adjusting uh, nose pad, and it's super flexible, kind of what they mean by self-adjusting, and it's a metal nose pad as well, so it is fully adjustable. Um, but yeah, and then the other thing you mentioned, the internal spring hinge, which yeah. is really nice, mm -hmm. especially design-wise, because it's just a lot more streamlined. Right as opposed to an average spring hinge, which is like a separate box just kind of glued onto the inside of the temple. It's kind of hidden in there in the design. It looks really, really good. Um, so I like these. And what are we talking about in terms of fit? So fit, these are, uh, Costa's calling these an extra large. These are some big boys. And I, you know, I'm considered more of a large extra large. And I would say okay, these, these are, I think, right along those lines. It's certainly a big lens. Yes. So, hexagon. and it's cool. Yeah, they, you say hexagon shape. Uh, it's called the pilot house because it is kind of more of the, the, the shape. This generic term might fit in the, uh, the navigator realm. Mm -hmm. has that double bridge, but it's a really cool kind of a timeless yeah. classic uh, design, which I like a lot. Let's yeah. talk about the measurements. So we measured these, they come in the uh, A measurement or the lens width comes in at 64 millimeters. We have the B measurement or the lens height, which comes in at 48.4 millimeters. We have a bridge width of 14.7, tends to be a little narrower with the uh, kind of aviator and navigator styles, but it's normal. If you feel like that's too narrow for you, understand that the bridge width is up here, nose pads are down here, it's probably still gonna fit your bridge just fine. Uh, and then we have what I like uh, to take, because it gives you a better idea of effective width and fit, mm -hmm. is the temple to temple. And that comes in at 137, which is definitely on the large end of the spectrum. Uh, and then we have a temple length of 128 millimeters. Now, if that seems a little short, I'd say don't worry about it. It's not meant to wrap all the way behind the ear like a pair of eyeglasses are. And we already talked about how well they're gonna grip at the mm -hmm. end of the temple, so don't stress about that. Uh, really cool design. Yeah. They're RXable. Yes, they are. So they are only available in for RX Costa Authentic RX lenses with 580p, their polycarbonate or 580 Trivex lenses. Unfortunately, with how big of a lens it is, you know, glass is just not going to be able to work in Plano or RX sure. lenses. That makes sense, uh, but it's all right because they do have that Trivex lens material available in prescription and the Trivex lens material is the lightest lens material presently available, so it seems to fit really well mm -hmm. in this super lightweight frame. 
And just so you see, on my face, I'm more of a medium, maybe small to medium. It's a little big, definitely an oversized lens, which is great for that person who wants the best coverage possible. Yeah, definitely. This is a great frame. Thank you for all your help, Ryan, and your knowledge. It's you great. <laughs> uh, if you thought this was helpful, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want more videos like this that are helpful, uh, going directly to you. If you have any coaster related questions at all, uh, the pilot house or not, he's gonna help you out. Comment down below, call us, email us. We'd love to see you and talk to you. Later.